I think we need to nurture to be not so goal-oriented and really take our confidence and focus on, let's say, the, this journey. Why did I start this in the first place? I think it's important to say that when we have an idea, we tend to think, oh, I have an idea, I'm going to move this idea into action. But actually, I think it's good, good to think about, well, where did this idea come from? And maybe the idea was a state of feeling. You know, it was in my belly, it was in my chest. It, it kind of sat in my shoulders. The point here is sometimes we don't have any ideas, but if we're get, getting good at it, we can still go back and say, well, how do I actually feel? Instead of how, why am I doing what I'm doing? If you focus a little bit on why, you very often, you get ideas because essentially it's much more interesting to sort out why before you do how. It's exciting to learn how to translate an idea into action without losing sense of why. We very often have great ideas which feel so important you know, for us and for the world. But then as you turn them out, they just turn into a business opportunity and you forgot why you did it in the first place. When I work as an artist, I very often try to sort of gradually, step by step, turn the idea into, I sometimes say, I give it a body. It gets a sketch, it gets a bigger sketch, a drawing, a big drawing, a computer drawing, a little model, a bigger model, material model. And gradually the idea takes shape. It's so beautiful to see that idea sort of gain uh, its own body. That growth, you could say, is actually reality in the making. Very often we think, oh, the idea is only worth something once I've done it. But it is the making itself also has a lot of you know, impact onto the world.